What's up guys, my name is Sharp and today I'm bringing you another best class set of video. Uh, this time it's going to be for the P90. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, we're going to start with the muzzle. The muzzle is going to be the monolithic suppressor. Now the monolithic suppressor seems to be good across the board, of all, like regardless of what gun you're using. And in this case, it's actually the only good suppressor. Um, this suppressor obviously increases sound suppression and damage range uh, with a slight negative effect towards the aim down sight speed. Um, and then the aim walking Senius doesn't even matter, um, but we'll go into the aim down sight speed on another attachment. Um, so that's the muzzle. Uh, the next is going to be the barrel. It's going to be the forged tack retribution, and this increases damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So the damage range you get from this, along with the monolithic suppressor combined, uh, is very, very good because it requires less bullets to kill at further ranges, if that makes sense. Um, you get a slight negative effect towards the uh, ADS speed, um, which I will still go into on another attachment. Uh, and movement speed, I'm not really too concerned about the movement speed because I use dead silence. Dead silence already increases your movement speed and, and it's a fast recharge, so you don't really need to worry about movement speed with any of the SMGs, honestly. But in this case, specifically for the Forge Tech Retribution. <clears throat> the next attachment is going to be the stock. The stock is going to be the fly strap. So this increases your sprint to fire speed. This is really important because when you're running around the map, um, I just hit the mic. When you're running around the map with dead silence and if somebody pops up right across the corner, you need to be able to bring that gun from sprint to aiming right at them as quick as possible. So that's very important. Uh, aim walking movement speed doesn't really matter. And then the negative effect of aim stability also doesn't really matter, especially on SMGs or any gun really, unless you're using a sniper. That's probably about it. Hard scoping on euphrates bridge in the back or something uh the next attachment is going to be for the rear grip uh the rear grip is i think pretty much across the board is also the stippled grip tape um this increases the aim down the sight aim down sight speed so that kind of helps offset the other two negative ads speeds that you have earlier and sprint to fire speed increases which is still important like i just talked about with the stock aim stability again doesn't matter the next or the last attachment I use sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is really important because it lets you stay in constant gunfights longer, if that makes sense. You can have all the ammo in the world, but as soon as you need to reload and somebody pops across that corner, you're dead if you're not reloaded. So reloading is very important more than it is uh, having a bigger magazine. In this case, the P90 does not have bigger magazines, I don't think. No, it does not. So sleight of hand is very important. I use sleight of hand on any gun, no matter what. I don't care how fast the reload speed already is getting sleight of hand on there now why i don't use an optic i said this in the mp7 video the optic is pointless use your iron sights it's a waste of a slot you'd rather have a positive effect from any of the attachments over an optic lasers lasers are not my cup of tea the base the red laser uh that increases hip fire accuracy not that big of a deal not that big of an effect for me and then the green lasers as soon as the enemy can see my laser that's already a turn off for me so i'm not using that and the underbarrels, uh, the underbarrels aren't that impressive, so I just stayed away from them. Um, so that's it for the attachments. I'm going to go over the other perks and stuff I'm using. For the secondary, I always use a P-Law launcher because uh, I like being that extra support player, especially if we're playing with some friends. A couple of us have rockets. The enemy gets a VTOL for some reason, a chopper gunner. All of us shoot a rocket real quick. It gets down. Um, so that's why the P-Law, and I don't really use any of the other secondaries. I'll get into the secondaries when I start going for Damascus and I have to get gold on them. Uh, the perks this is going to be slightly different from uh what you saw me pick in the beginning of this gameplay uh so for my base perks i use scavenger ghost and tune up so the difference is i used hardline in the video but ghost um i'll explain it when i go over the specialist so i don't use kill streaks i use specialist so my first perk in the specialist i have hardline which requires two kills and as soon as you get hardline that brings the next two three technically uh perks down a kill so as soon as you get normally it'd be two four six and then eight for everything so and then if you have hardline as your main perk it'll be one three five and seven but if you have hard if you have ghost and then hardline as your first it'll be two to get hardline which is no big deal and then as soon as you get hardline it brings the third perk which in this case i'm using eod uh, for the explosive because everybody and their mother uses c4s nades and claymores 
it brings that to three. So you only have to get one more kill after you get hardline. And then I use battle harden, which is for, I, I'm pretty sure it's like the, the stuns and stuff. Is it? Wait. I forgot. Why am I drawing a blank? Yeah. Reduce strength of enemy flash stuns and EMP effects. Um, and then uh, for the lethals, this could also be personal preference. I use claimers. Some people use C4s. Some people use nades. I use claimers. And then the tactical, I think stim is very important if you're going to constantly run around the map. Uh, I feel like the regen time is very, very slow in this game. So when you have stim, boom. And then if you're if you're streaking up, you got restock from getting all the perks. Those stims will just keep coming. You can constantly get in gunfights, constantly win gunfights. So if you guys enjoyed that video, I uh, appreciate if you dropped a like. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and drop a sub. I do stream on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I almost got a nuke. The game ended, unfortunately. But I use this class right here. Enjoy. See you guys. Peace. <clears throat> On me. Train tracks. Right. Waters. He's in the water coming to showers, maybe? I got it, man. Shipyard, probably. Minecarts, also, probably. Being looked at. Maybe like a 15 or something. 15? Oh shit. Yeah, something ridiculous. They're back uh, by, by the rooftop area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back left. I'm wrapping all the way around. Brutal, whatever brutal is, was what I'm on. I'm, I'm with you. <coughs> oh, we, oh, there's only three more kills. He's right there uh, on the bottom. I don't know how many people I just got in. I don't know what I just went on, but it was dirty.